Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the biggest shifts we've been waiting for in 3D printing, tool changing systems, and more specifically, delivery dates. If you've been following along, you know 2025 was supposed to be the year. Snapmaker, Bontech, Prusa, and even Bamboo Lab have all made big announcements for the end of the year. But here we are, and well, those Q4 2025 release dates are starting to look more like early 2026. Let's get into it. Here's what really got me thinking about the end of Q4 and what we will actually see. Now before we deep dive into this announcement, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. Looking for more than just PCBs? PCBWay has been trusted by makers and engineers for over 11 years. Offering high quality PCB fabrication, 3D printing, CNC machining, and sheet metal fabrication, all in one place. Whether you're prototyping or ready for full-scale production, their rapid manufacturing services bring your ideas to life fast. And don't forget to explore their huge project library at pcbway.com project, packed with thousands of open source bills to inspire your next creation. PCB Way, PCB prototype the easy way. A couple of weeks ago, Bontech posted this announcement to their blog. It basically gives a recap of the development of the new system. They've been working on version 3, but they've decided that it still needs a few tweaks, and they've started working on version 4, which they state will be the production version. Here's a quote from the blog. Visitors at Formnext 2025 will see the latest version live, applied, and running. Everyone will get the first chance to pre-order from our web shop with deliveries starting late Q1 2026. As soon as possible, after we reach the final shape of the smart tool head, we'll start sharing simplified geometries to allow implementation projects to flourish. So on top of anything you may know already about the index, what makes this latest version worth the wait? Aluminum chassis, a rugged structure delivering tool stance and handling rigidity, plus positioning, repeatable reference positioning system for the nozzle, plus automatic bed probing, automatic nozzle sensing for flawless bed leveling. All of that equals refined precision, every change, every move, every detail carefully considered. We know delays can be frustrating, but this isn't just a delay. It's a significant improvement, a major evolution, and a promise. When you finally get your hands on the Bontech Index Tool Changer, it won't just meet your expectations, it will redefine them. So, Bontech's pushing their delivery schedule, so what does that have to do with Prusa? Well, back on August 26th, Joseph Prusa teased the community with this image of a Core 1 with seven tool heads. Although they haven't specifically named a collaboration with Bontech, it's pretty obvious that those are index. If Bontech is making changes, that will likely mean that Prusa's offerings is going to slip as well. So that's two of the possible offerings. But what about Bamboo and the Vortex system? Right about the time that Snapmaker was launching the U1, Bamboo shot straight out from left field and announced that we'd see the H2C with the Vortex system. The blog post from their CEO, Dr. Tao, said that they've been working on the Vortex system for several years and it would be available on a new printer, the H2C and would also be available for the H2D and H2S owners that weren't afraid to really get their hands dirty with some upgrades. Since that time, Bamboo has also created a Vortec Wiki. And here are just a couple of the interesting items I found there. One of the question reads, how many hot ends does the Vortex system support and how many hot ends can be used in total for an H2 series printer equipped with the Vortex system? The answer, in total, a H2 series printer with the Vortex system will support up to seven hot ends for multicolor or multi-material prints, of which one hot end is the left lifting hot end and the other six hot ends are tool changing inductive hot ends. With this, the H2 series printers equipped with the Vortex system support up to seven materials without the need to initialize during printing, no purge waste. I guess we're going to see about that one. The next question, when will the Vortex system be available? And the answer, the Vortex system will be a standard feature on our new H2 flagship 3D printer launching in Q4. It will also be available as an upgrade kit for existing H2 series users, also in Q4. 
I guess we'll see if they make that goal. More on that in a minute or two. So that leaves us with the Snapmaker U1. The Kickstarter campaign ended on September 30th, fully funded at $20,453,833 with 20,509 backers, but there's still a late pledge option running through mid-October. According to an article on their website, the shipping schedule indicates that only the early bird October tier have an estimated delivery dates in 2025, which are the end of November to middle of December. Hmm. Well, here are my thoughts. As we've seen with the Eufy Make UV printer, Kickstarter products can run into major issues before or after final production ramps up. In the case of that printer, what was originally a device that was expected to ship in August of 2025 is now looking like it won't land on customers' doorsteps, mine included, until February of 2026. Hopefully there won't be any issues with the Snapmaker. I recently learned that despite seeming like every big 3D printing YouTube creator getting a U1, there are actually less than 20 of these machines out in the wild. Several of these creators have noticed little problems, but it does seem like Snapmaker is taking care of those problems. For the sake of the backers out there that are patiently waiting, I'm hopeful that nothing pops up that would significantly delay delivery. Now here is where I think the real slip will happen. With Bontech announcing their push to the right, this will inevitably push Prusa's integration of this revolutionary system. If Bontech is still working on a final version, Prusa is gonna have to pump the brakes a bit before they can finalize a design to integrate into the Core 1. So what about Bamboo? They say that we should see the Vortec in Q4 of 2025, but I seem to remember that back when we were waiting for the last flagship printer, they said we'd see that in Q4 of 2024, but I didn't get my H2D until May of 2025. I don't have any particular insight into their production level for a new printer and system, so they could be right on track to deliver on time, or they could see the delays from the competition and decide to give themselves a bit more time to clear out old inventory during the holiday period. What are your thoughts? Do you care if these new printers come out in 2025, or are you happy to wait until the beginning or middle of next year? Did you back the U1, or are you waiting to see what Bontech, Prusa, and Bamboo bring to the table? Please let me know in the comments below. Hey, you want to do me a solid? Please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop new content. As always, I enjoy the time that we get to spend here together on the channel, so let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.